Hello, I'm Ed. Welcome back to the studio. This week, we're going to start off pretty much from where we left off last week, where I had built and tested this constructor mammography camera. And this week, I'm going to go into town, see if I can pick up some Lomachrome film and get some nice shots with this, because the ones I got last week, there were only five of them, and they were basically just test shots of my feet and bushes and things like that, which not really great art. There's a shop in Manchester, city centre, where they've got, I think, some Lomachrome Metropolis, which I've already used, so I probably won't get that. They've got Lomachrome Turquoise, which I might want to try. And I think they've also got a couple of rolls of just standard Lomachrome and high speed, like 800 ASA Lomachrome as well. So I'm going to go in, see what they've got, load up and go and take some pictures in Manchester city centre if the weather cheers up because it is pouring down again. The weather's crazy. It's also Manchester International Festival uh, this week. So uh, there might be some interesting things to shoot in the city centre that wouldn't normally be there. So it'd be worth a, a wander in anyway. So welcome to Manchester city centre. I have been to get my film and success. They had both Loma Chrome turquoise and a purple one which was a bit cheaper but I just don't like purple. Um, really nice to find somewhere where they still keep their film in a fridge. Uh, I've not seen that for ages. Probably doesn't matter for this but it's really nice and uh, it will encourage me to buy a film from them again. Um, 12 50 for this so I really hope it comes out because it's a bit more of a, an expense than the other one. But let's load it up and crack on. We will take a selfie first of all to see what happens. And this is the result. Um, even putting aside the subject matter, that is not a good colour, is it? What subject really benefits from being that green? Again, maybe it would look different if it was enlarged straight from the negative. Yeah. And things were going to get worse. Okay, so I'm here and I think these towers behind me will probably make a good picture. Yeah, they probably would have made a good picture, but what actually came out was a blank frame. And this is a theme that was to continue throughout the afternoon. So this is where I found our way to Festival Square, part of the myth thing, and there are some nice uh, turquoise looking uh, barriers there, so they should work well with the turquoise film, shouldn't they? Well, in retrospect, it's debatable whether they'd have worked well with the turquoise film, but we will never know because it just didn't come out. I'm not quite sure what went on. It's possible that the shutter was sticking, so it was heavily overexposing each shot, but I just don't know. Another shot that has to be got, which I wouldn't normally take because it's really hackneyed and cliched, but I want to see how it works on this film, is the padlocks on Oxford Road, so I'll do that now. Bizarrely enough, this was the one shot from the session between me taking the selfie and me going home that actually came out. I would probably have preferred one of the others too. Day two and I am out taking some more pictures down by the river. I'm going to try and get a shot of this heron here before he disappears. Hopefully the sun's going to come out again in a minute so I'll be able to get a bit more contrast because I don't know quite how much uh, light there is. A bit more success today. It wasn't a blank frame of film and the colours are almost bearable. I have done a little bit of level changing in Photoshop, but nothing massive. So it's possible that the exposure that you get has a big influence on the amount of green that is produced because there was some sunshine here. The heron's there, he's slightly soft, and I think that's just using the constructor camera. The glass or plastic that the lens is made of just isn't up to resolving fine detail. So I'm here on Simon's Bridge and i um, got some nice uh, geometrics here with the green against the blue of the sky. So I set the camera to close focusing and I'm going to see if I can get the blue and the green together and see how that works with the turquoise film. And here's the result. To be honest, it's probably my favourite of the bunch because uh, as a geometric, it doesn't really matter. The sky has gone pink instead of being blue and the bridge has gone kind of a weird version of the colour it already was. So I've got the glasses off to get some good focusing on because I'm going to take a picture, a close up, as close as I can get, this minimum focusing distance of this is half a metre of a really nice rose down here with a little ladybug next to it. We'll either come out or we shall see. I'm going to crack on before I lose the light. 
Did I say the geometric was my favourite? Actually, this is probably my favourite because a blue rose is kind of interesting uh, in a way that a pink sky is less so. Uh, and it's sharp and the greenery around it is still green. Can't see the ladybug, it was there. There may be trouble ahead. I've just noticed that at some point this bulb and normal button got knocked. So it's possible that all the shots this morning are going to be very, very, very streaky, blurred and overexposed. Well, in fact, four of them were just blank. But luckily it looks like I didn't knock that from normal to bulb until halfway through the morning session. So we did get a few pictures. Whether they're any better as they are than if they were blank frames is debatable. I kind of like this picture. Uh, it's a disability scooter outside the fishmongers on the high street. I think it works with this kind of film and the softness of the lens and the colours because the sea being turquoisey green kind of works with the fish shop and the bike. I think it was actually a, probably a red colour so it shifted that to a colour that actually works better with the subject matter. So this actually is probably my favourite of the lot. Not a bad image probably the only one that I will actually keep, although the resolution of it isn't high enough to use for anything other than a thumbnail. Right, well, I think that was my last shot, so I'm gonna unwind the film, rewind the film and get it off to the lab. That's stopped going round. I think we're there. Okay, so after all that, what are my thoughts? Well, I've been on a journey with this camera. Uh, I've been on a real journey, not necessarily a particularly pleasant journey. I'm glad I did it. But that said, I think this camera is going to have to go on the shelf now because much as I enjoyed making it, it just doesn't really work for me. I'm from the era where we were waiting for digital cameras to get as good as film cameras. And so although I embrace grain and the quirks of film and I love the analog process, um, I really want good results, um, sharpness, color resolution um, and control. And this doesn't really offer that. This is great fun to build. And if you're gonna take a few snaps of friends like close-ups and things where you're going to get some weird results and again the film i loved the lomochrome metropolis and the colors that i got out of that i really liked um, the turquoise it just seemed a step too far again maybe if i'd exposed it better and if i'd enlarged it with a enlarger rather than scanning it i might have got a more aesthetically pleasing result but I wasn't happy with the results that I got and I, I felt like I'd spent money I could have spent on something else doing it. But it was an experiment and it's always good to experiment. So, yeah, I'm going to use the film again, the Metropolis film, but probably not the turquoise film. And this camera, I think, I'll maybe put it on a mantel shelf as a reminder of some fun that I had. Um, just finally... Just to show you the film, a lot of black where I think the bulb exposure is stuck and then the last few there. So as you can see, I'm not treating these negatives with a great deal of care because there's nothing on them that I think I'm going to want to keep. But it has been fun. It's been an adventure. And do you know what? It's actually got me excited about shooting digitally again <laughs> because having had those lost frames, when I went to shoot uh, at the Manchester International Festival venue. Um, I'm quite sad that I didn't get this. I'm gonna go back and see if I can get something, but it would be nice to be able to check my composition, see if I got exactly what I thought I'd got and reshoot and have the clarity and the sharpness of a good digital camera with a good digital lens. So 
I'm definitely going to keep shooting film, but I'll probably keep shooting film on the Canon EOS in situations where it doesn't matter about the loud shutter slap and where I don't need a depth of field preview because I haven't got a depth of field preview on that camera. And I will use black and white or colour film. And if I want something a bit funky, I might go for the Lomachrome Metropolis. I might try a few other film stocks. But for anything proper, I think it's going to be back to digital for now and uh, save those pennies that I would have spent on film for when the next banging digital camera comes out so that I can get an absolutely tipped up one and get some more amazing results. But that's it for this week. Thanks again so much for joining me. Really appreciate you uh, stopping by to see what I'm up to and leaving your comments. Uh, subscribe as always if you haven't and have a really great week. Hope to see you again same time next week. Bye for now.